Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Psycho Gold, this is Psycho Gold Videos, and today we're going to be checking out the next episode of My Hero Academia. In the previous one, all hell broke absolutely loose at the end, with us discovering that there is in fact more than one Nomu, and they've decided to let loose three of these behemoths onto the city to try and take out Stain. But of course, the destruction that is being caused, uh collaterally is not exactly going to bother them and they're reveling in the carnage that's going on. Unfortunately for them, Deku and Gran Torino happen to be traveling by train when one of the Nomu dudes broke in and Gran Torino, old though he may be, can still kick some ass. And he leapt into action and saved one of the so-called pro heroes from Nomu and sent the monster flying out of the train. He followed after him. We don't know whether or not this episode's going to show us the battle with him or whether we're just going to focus on Deku. But there are several other people from the academy and there are several other pro heroes in the area who have also been alerted and we saw that they were starting to respond to them. While all this is happening, Ida also met up with Stain and it wasn't going his way when the fight started. So I'm hoping that we're going to see what happens with those two. Either way guys, let's check it out right now and find out. 3, 2, 1, go! Hey, we got some epic rock music starting. Even the episode knows this is going to be a good one. Oh, here we go. This is where it ended. Duh. Please wait calmly for the heroes, says the guy who's holding one of said heroes in his arms. Yeah, we, we know what his quirk is, dude. We've been following him since episode one of the first season. We don't need this every starting episode. Okay. So, he's grinning. He's able to do it. Okay. Yeah, man. Hero killer stain versus UA students is in plural. Oh, okay. This could be an interesting episode then. I thought it was going to be against these guys, not stain. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that Nomu doesn't have a name. Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. Fire attacks. Does that mean? Is that who I think it is? Yes! <laughs> because I'm a hero! Yeah, dude, we've seen your backstory. As excited as I am to see you actually do something and fight, you ain't no hero. Um, like, I really want to see what he can do and why he's the number two, but it's really difficult to get behind him knowing what he did to uh, his mum. Not his mum, Todoroki's mum. Okay. Oh, he's found his way to two more Nomus. Oh, that one with the wings looks freaking terrifying. Oh, he hasn't gone off somewhere. He's... Come on, Deku, you can put this two together. Because, like, that's definitely not like Ida. There we go. Here we go. He's putting it together. <laughs> yeah, they're still pretty strong. Oh, we're going to get a little flashback. He has six and he's only leashed three of them out. He only gave them three, which is understandable. He didn't exactly do very well with his first one, because if they still had that one, they'd have seven. I'd be very interested to see what happens if Stain was to fight Anomu. Oh, here we go, because he didn't seem to want to attack uh, Ida at first, but then he was like, I will. Like, I'm really not that fussed, dude. And then he took his name, which I thought was really cool as well. Well, that armor was a complete waste of time and effort. Oh! I felt that. <laughs> Is that the sound of his dad we can hear? Oh, okay. Interesting, because... I can't remember. I think his dad, their dad is a big hero as well, right? Oh, he looks very different because the only time we've seen him really is when he was in the hospital. So that's obviously when Ida made the decision to be a hero. Oh, it's so damn emotional. 
But I don't think you can do anything against him, dude. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But you're one to talk. You killing the heroes. Oh, that's how his powers work. Damn! He looked absolutely terrifying with that red aura around him. Deku, if you're out there, now would be an excellent time for a one for all punch. Oh! Perfect timing, my dude! Yes! <laughs> oh, okay, now we're going back to him just before he jumped in. Smash! <laughs> Love the sound effects when he does his charge smash. Oh, he tanked that. Yeah, they might finally, they might finally be able to get some information about him to uh, relay that to the other heroes. Yeah, you're you're big and scary, dude. But trust me, Deku isn't necessarily the weaker. <laughs> Who has he sent that text to? I wonder. <laughs> oh, that put an interesting look on Stain's face, hearing him say that. Whoa, he looked happy. Oh, he went under him. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's been, uh, he's been training with Gran Torino. You're going to have to move a lot faster than that. <laughs> Yes, you can, my friend. So it's time to start doing more than one punch. Son of a witch! <laughs> Daku! Every time you do something cool. Come on. If we can. He needs to channel that same power he had before. But whoa! Oh! Oh! Todoroki. You need to give more details in times like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, the pros will be here in a few minutes, too. Oh, I really, really wanted... Uh, the, you know, the spirit of one for all to come out and break him out of his uh, physical problem. Oh! Oh! Ho -ho! Yeah. He's a very difficult opponent to get near to, my friend. Oh! Here he comes. Come on, Deku. <laughs> oh, blood type O? That has something to do with it? Or is it just the fact that Deku's one for all? Or it could be blood type. <laughs> oh, he just flat out told him. Blood curdle. Oh, okay. For up to eight minutes. Thank you, random narrator who's just appeared. I love Deku's little lightning aura that he's got going on now. Oh, this is interesting music. Damn, look at Deku jump between. He's moving like Gran Torino. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? If you just look at him from a professional standpoint as a hero, he's probably really good. It's his personal life that's a complete and utter mess where he's a dick. <laughs> Just a few words were all it took to change. Oh, is Ida having a moment of reflection? Oh, he got him again! Oh, the flame side is really revving up. Ingenium, rise! Oh, his fingers are moving. Oh, damn it, it's the end of the episode. Jesus, that episode. Whoosh! <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was My Hero Academia episode 29. Yes, episode 29. Wow, that was not at all what I thought we were going to get. I thought we were going to get everybody fighting the Nomus, which, now that I think about it, 
Oh, no, I bet the next episode is going to be everybody fighting the Nomus, and then we'll have to wait another episode to see what happens with the Hero Killer. Even so, guys, I thoroughly loved that one. That was so, so not what I was expecting. It was action-packed. It was very heavy on some of the drama and the emotions. I absolutely loved seeing Deku finally being able to do stuff, even if he was then immediately cut by Stain. But... Stain was still kind of struggling against him and even said that he is worth keeping alive. I mean, he has killed numerous heroes, so he obviously isn't someone who's a pushover. So the fact that Deku was able to deal a little bit of damage and go blow for blow with him for a few minutes at least is still pretty impressive. And the fact that he messaged Todoroki as well was great. And that he turned up and tried to save them and then obviously having Deku and Todoroki stand side by side. All we need now is for Bakugo to come around the corner and I genuinely do think that the hero killer might be in trouble. <laughs> that said, we also have Endeavor hiding in the background somewhere and depending on how quickly he can defeat a Nomu compared to All Might, we've had confirmation that these Nomus aren't as strong as the one that went up against All Might, so Endeavor should be able to take care of him relatively easily if he, you know, fights seriously. Which I would actually love to see, I really want to see how Demiurge uses his powers, how he fights, how he compares to All Might and, you know, any of the other pro heroes that we've seen. Because we haven't really seen the pro heroes do a whole lot other than a few episodes in the first season. And even then, pretty much everything we saw barring the first episode inevitably ended up with All Might coming along to save the day. I do like the way that all the pro heroes were working together though, and I like the fact that they organise into what they're good at, like putting out the fires, doing the rescuing... Uh, tanking shots while other people uh, try and deal some damage. They, I just like how they are all so willing to cooperate and work together, even though they're technically like different agencies who are almost rivals in a way, but I like the fact that pretty much so far, with obviously a couple of exceptions, we haven't really met that many heroes who lose sight of the fact that they are there to save people and to help people. You know, they don't prioritize their own personal rankings or their own... Um, reputations above the safety of others and I kind of like that it makes a change for heroes to actually be heroes not saying there aren't bad eggs look at Endeavor <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the next episode I really hope Ida stands up and is at least able to fight him as in in, in Genium for a little bit because yeah it is very heartbreaking seeing him not be able to do anything against Stain. And then it must be really frustrating to see both Deku and Todoroki come along and essentially fight him. Even though Deku didn't last very long the second time round, it seems like Stain was almost holding back in all honesty. And now that he's fighting two against one, he's kind of going all out and he's trying to, you know, he's enjoying himself. He's got that permanent grin on his face of absolute terror. He looks like he could be a stand-in for Carnage, you know? Any minute the symbiote's gonna come all over him and they're both gonna go on an absolute murder spree. But either way, guys, that was great. I thoroughly enjoyed seeing those fight sequences. They're some of the best animation I think we've seen so far. Um, I also really like the development that we got from Todoroki in an episode I really didn't expect any. We got to see the flashback with his mum, we got to see why he's accepted the offer to go and work with his dad, and we kind of got to see the fact that he was also worrying about Ida, which Deku was as well. So it's kind of nice to see that everybody is forming friendships, or at least forming bonds, even if they're not, like, friend friends. So, hopefully, once this particular crisis is over, everybody can kind of come together and help one another get through all of their issues, and yeah. The UA class is kind of sticking together, even if they're not always 100% best buds with each other. I also like the fact that at the beginning of the episode, Gran Torino is like pretty much able to just whoosh around the Nomu and he's not even breaking a sweat. It's like, come on, dude. This, this isn't even worth me getting out of bed for. Come on, come on. <laughs> like, I hope we get to, I hope Gran Torino does actually just beat that Nomu and it's like not even anything for him and he's just like, Yep, and just imagine if I was still young. <laughs> I'd have done I'd have done and beat up all of these guys for you. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna be it for me for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop comments down below letting me know what you thought of this episode. And if you're new around here, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Check out the playlist to check out the previous episode reactions to this series, assuming that there's any left and Tohu haven't, you know, got rid of all of them. But if you want to check out some other anime, go check out the channel. There's plenty of others than just My Hair Academia. And don't forget that all of the episodes are available uncut. Yes, even the ones that have been blocked here on YouTube over on my Patreon page. So feel free to go check that out. The link is in the description below. 
And that's kind of it, dude. So as always, I am Psycho Gold, and I will see you in my next video. Psycho Gold, out.